हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंटीग्रेटेड फिजिक्स स्टडीज आईपीएस एस एम ऑलरेडी प्लस टू सेकेंड इयर सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर सारी एवं मुझे प्लस थ्री सी बी सी एस अनलाइन क्लासेस भिडियोज गुड़ा अपलोड करी जदि भल लगे तेल लाइक करदेव और सब्सक्राइब करदेव जो भिडियोज गुड़ा मुझे अपलोड करी तार नोटिफिकेसन ये बेल आइकन को अल्रे सेट करदेव गोटे इंपोर्टे जिनस भिडियोज जो थ्री डट्स देखु तार क्वाटी ये देख बै डिफल्ट थ्री सिक्सटी अच्छी तुम ताक पढ़े कर एडभांस क्लिक कर तुम रिजल्यूसन प्रति वीडियो जरे मु पीडीएफ लिंक देवी ताकु एटी ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट को तमे क्लिक करी डाउनलोड मध्य करी परबो पीडीएफ को लास्ट रे एटी जो मोर चैनल नेम अछि याकु क्लिक करी तमे एटी प्लेलिस्ट को जाई मु प्रति वीडियोस को यूनिट वाइज एज पर सिलेबस सो जे कि रखेतिबी तमे सर्च करी परबो ओके थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज रो टॉपिक रे हमें गैस फेज कंडेंसेशन विषय रे पढीबा which is a type of synthesis process representing a number of bottom up methods for producing multi component nanoparticles or nano powder of metals alloys or compounds by condensation of their vapors at controlled temperature in an inert low atmosphere okay and this inert gas condensation is a straight forward process which was started around the year 1960s okay now metallic or semiconducting nano particles can be formed from the individual atoms or molecules further magnetron sputter inert gas condensation is one of the most widely used gas phase synthesis methods for nano particles okay cds that is cadmium sulfide nano particles which have applications in catalysis and optical devices have been synthesized in form of homogeneous spheres with a mean particle size of 16 nanometer of diameter by this technique okay another notable example of gas phase condensation is that of your magnetic nano particles of co that is cobalt which is prepared as nano structured materials with average particle size of 10 nanometer okay 10 nanometer will be its average particle size and by this method zinc sulfide that is zns ultra fine powder has also been prepared which shows an homogeneous particle size distribution with mean crystalline diameter of around 8 nanometer okay and further quantum dots can also be synthesized by this technique that is the gas phase condensation okay now let us come to the principle of this gas phase condensation okay you can see this is the schematic diagram of the gas phase condensation actually the apparatus that you are seeing it is utilizing a gas which is typically an inert gas like helium xenon or argon and the gas is kept at a pressure high enough to promote particle formation but also low enough to prevent their agglomeration okay and this method uses a vacuum chamber you can see this is actually a vacuum chamber which consists of a heating element then the metal which is to be made into the nano powders this one is the metal okay metal drop now the powder collection equipment and the vacuum hardware okay the pressure inside is generally kept above 10 to the power minus 1 tor okay right this is the pressure and the evaporation of materials in ultra high vacuum will lead to the growth of the thin films on the appropriate substrates okay now in presence of this inert gas the atoms of the evaporated materials rapidly lose the kinetic energy and this is being done in making the collisions with the inert gas molecules okay remember the evaporated materials which are small particles they will collide with the molecules of the inert gas and thereby will lose their kinetic energy okay in the gas phase and thereafter they will be condensed in form of nanometer sized crystallites that can be collected on the substrate as an ultra fine powder as you can see the inert gas is taken here okay now we have a wire at the bottom we have the metal drop then this is the aerogel okay this one is the inductor and this is the valve at the bottom 
we have the nano powder which is collected here okay which is having size of nanometer okay so this is the basic principle of gas phase condensation now let us go further the description of gas phase condensation so here in gas phase condensation the metal which is to be converted into nano powders is actually introduced onto the heated element and thereafter it is rapidly melted okay now a number of different vaporization methods both thermal and non-thermal for the metal actually exist also sputtering and laser evaporation may be used instead of thermal evaporation okay in this regard magnetron sputtering has clear advantage because in it most of the plasma is confined to the near target region that is the source of metal okay then the metal is quickly heated to a temperature far above its melting point but less than its boiling point so as to produce an adequate vapor pressure okay and the inert gas which is continuously being introduced into the chamber that is the vacuum chamber and being removed by the pumps so the gas flow moves the evaporated metal away from the hot element okay now with the cooling of the metal vapors by the inert gas the nanometer sized particles will be formed okay and these particles are in liquid form because they are still in hot temperature okay so that they will take time to become solid okay the liquid particles then collide and coalesce in a controlled environment so that the particles grow as per the specification and they acquire the spherical shapes with smooth surfaces okay and as the liquid particles are further cooled under control they become solid okay they will be solidified and their further growth will stop okay at this stage the nanoparticles are very reactive and to prevent their further interaction with other particles that is called as your agglomeration or maybe interaction with other materials so in order to prevent these types of interaction they are coated with some suitable material which is called capping agent okay and further it should be noted that at the same pressure if helium gas which is less dense is replaced by xenon gas which is more dense then it will result in an increase in the particle size okay so the important parameters of this process that is the gas phase condensation are like vapor concentration then temperature or pressure and it is observed that under same evaporation the condensation conditions metals with high melting point form smaller particles okay and with the increase in pressure up to several hundreds of pa pa means pascal okay the average particle size will first increase rapidly and then slowly approaches the limiting value at a pressure over 2500 pascal okay so collection of resulting condensation nano powders is a matter of concern because its particles are so small that they are in constant brownian motion and they will remain suspended in the moving gas and therefore not settled by the gravity okay so powder particles are collected by means of special filters under centrifugal sedimentations okay now let us see the advantages of this gas phase condensation so in the first point the gas phase synthesis is a continuous process then it ensures highest purity relative to liquid or solid state process then it is good in processing and product control then it can have large quantity production and better performance in producing multi component materials okay then lastly it is suited for production of metal nanoparticles okay also it can have some of the disadvantages like the aggregation of particle will create a problem then specific arrangement is required for the collection of nano powders also it require low pressure conditions and it is a very slow process okay finally let us see the applications like to produce ultra fine powders for use in catalysis and optical devices 
then to prepare magnetic nanoparticles of cobalt okay and the synthesis of nanoparticles for gas sensing applications okay so this is the gas phase condensation which i have taken from one book now this is what i have taken from another book the gas phase condensation which has actually given in a brief and a concise manner but i advise you to read it also and find the valuable points and by combining from both the books you make your note accordingly okay thank you